reminder of why they need to be looking on their calculator and to write this down. So when looking at this, we have f of x equals 6x minus 2. And if I want to be able to figure out what the inverse is, the first thing I want to do is I want to rewrite my function f of x in for y. And that's just going to be a little bit easier for us to be able to work with our inverse operations. All right? There's still going to be our output or our um, dependent variable. Then I swap the x and the y. All right, and now I have to solve for y. So I use my inverse operations by adding 2. So I have x plus 2 equals 6y. Then I divide by 6 using division property of equality. And I end up getting, uh, when I divide that through, I get 1 sixth x plus 1 third. That's a horrible 1 third equals y. Then I rewrite it with my inverse function symbol equals 1 over 6x plus 1 third. OK? Then what we can do is we can, now we found out our inverse. Oh, inverse. Oh. But it said oh. Right, so I'm going to kind of show you what you did.